The United States Supreme Court has just overturned Roe v. Wade here in New York City at Washington Square Park. People have gathered and they're rallying against that decision that was made just today, 6-3. A majority of Americans disapprove of the U.S. Supreme Court's landmark ruling overturning the Roe v. Wade decision, which had guaranteed a constitutional right to an abortion for nearly 50 years. After a challenge to a Mississippi abortion ban was upheld by the Supreme Court in a 6-3 decision, the court ruled 5-4 to overturn Roe v. Wade. City Pride, people are marching for the gay rights liberation movement on 6th Avenue in New York City. It is to share the message that LGBTQ rights are human rights. New York City's Pride Month celebrations culminated during the annual NYC Pride March, which has been held for more than 50 years and took place in person this year for the first time since 2019. continue throughout the rest of the day with the parade starting at noon and going down 5th Avenue and coming back on 7th Avenue. Celebrations continued on through the rest of the weekend and here in New York City, I'm Edward Franco. The Union of Academic Workers at NYU and the New School announced that the NYU Adjunct Bargaining Committee had agreed to a 30-day extension of their current contract with the university. The committee demands for adjunct faculty to be better compensated. The New York City Police Department conducted a sweep of unhoused people's belongings in Washington Square Park on August 19th. Washington Square Park mutual aid members, who were running a weekly distribution of food and essential items at the time, attempted to intervene. Two unhoused individuals and one member were arrested. <laughs> NYU faculty member and author Salman Rushdie, who was stabbed multiple times while giving a lecture at a conference in Western New York State on August 12th, is in recovery. Rushdie, the author of the 1988 book The Satanic Verses, has lived under death threats since 1989. As a response to the book's treatment of Islam and the Prophet Muhammad, the leader of the Islamic Republic of Iran, issued a religious decree calling for his death. Michael Steinhardt, namesake of NYU Steinhardt School of Culture, Education, and Human Development, resigned from the university's Board of Trustees eight months after he was ordered to surrender 70 million worth of stolen antiques.